Hi everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to your Health Matter channel. And in my today's video, we will learn about excessive sweating. Is it a warning sign of diabetes? Yes, excessive sweating or hyperhidrosis could be a warning sign of diabetes. If excessive sweating is caused by diabetes, you need to bring your glucose level under control. Keep on watching to know the other medical condition and diseases that can cause excessive sweating or hyperhidrosis. You may sweat more when it's hot or you are working out at the gym. That's normal. Sweating in such a situation is a normal reaction and helps regulate your body temperature. When your body is working harder, your sweat glands release a salt-based fluid in response to cool itself down. But, if you sweat excessively for no reason, even when the temperature is mild and you don't have a fever and you're working out, then it is not normal. Sometimes, excessive sweating or hyperhidrosis could indicate a serious medical condition like thyroid problems, diabetes, or infection. And, people who are overweight and who have anxiety disorders may also sweat more than other people. But, anxious sweating is different from hyperhidrosis. Should you see a doctor if you feel you sweat more than other people and beyond your body's need to sweat? Excessive sweating is harmless in most cases, but if you have a secondary general hyperhidrosis, it is advisable to see a doctor. Excessive sweating is categorized into two basic types, primary focal hyperhidrosis and secondary general hyperhidrosis. Primary focal hyperhidrosis or localized sweating is the most common cause of excessive sweating affecting about 1% to 3% of the population. And this form of hyperhidrosis usually starts in childhood or adolescence. It is a medical condition that makes people sweat excessively. But, it is not a sign of disease, and those who have it are otherwise healthy. However, excessive sweating can interfere with a person's social and work life and his quality of life. As the name suggests, focal or localized hyperhidrosis only affects specific parts of the body such as the underarms, growing, head, face, hands, or feet. Although the exact cause of the condition is still not clear, experts believe that it may result from a minor malfunction in the nervous system. Some studies suggest that it could run in families. Causes of secondary general hyperhidrosis Generalized sweating or secondary general hyperhidrosis is the less common form of hyperhidrosis, but it is a more serious condition. And, if you have this type of hyperhidrosis, you will experience sweating all over the body, not just on your head, face, underarms, growing, hands, or feet.
because it's being triggered by something else and underlying health condition, it's called secondary hyperhidrosis. Do you sweat profusely all over the body at night? This is a telltale sign of secondary hyperhidrosis. A number of different medical conditions and diseases can trigger secondary general hyperhidrosis. It could be due to menopause, pregnancy, thyroid problems, diabetes, alcoholism, tuberculosis, Parkinson's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, stroke, heart failure, and even cancers. Taking certain medication such as some psychiatric drugs, blood pressure medications, and antibiotics can also cause general excessive sweating. And when should you see a doctor? You have to see a doctor if you develop excessive sweating along with other symptoms like fatigue, insomnia, increased tears, increased urination, or cough. Late onset of excessive sweating in middle age or older people also needs medical attention. If excessive sweating develops after a new medication, consult your doctor. He may prescribe you a different drug. Remember this, whether accompanied by other symptoms or not, consult a doctor if excessive sweating is interfering with your life. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any question, please leave a comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell to get update. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope to see you again on my next video to come. Bye!